Okay. I started with uh, checking your aura to see what it looks like without anything processed. And first I check your meridians. Now what I'm doing is I'm selecting the numbers above 600 and below 200 and below, 600 and above, to balance. Okay, so I went to meridians, uh, I went to spiritual protection, I went to your chakras, um, I went to sensitivities, which include a lot of different things, but these are the things that came up high, and these are the things that came up low. I checked your spinal energy. I uh, don't know if you're having any discomfort in these areas, but these are areas that the device has identified as some kind of something going on. Now, if the numbers are high, it typically means that there's more notice of it. If the numbers are really low, your body isn't noticing it very much, and it really could be to uh, help be in balance. The numbers in the middle uh, indicate that your uh, energy is well balanced in those areas. Okay, so the, these numbers you can look these up: the cervical and thoracic and lumbar. That's what those mean. Uh, today's stress is another look. You can see your bacteria is high um, and your adrenals are low, so you may not be feeling quite as refreshed as you could be. Emotional numbers, uh, a lot of emotional things going on, you, you, and I can understand that. You also may want to um, do some uh, communicating with your wife. Um, you can see down at the bottom of the main hold tray, there is a uh, number of items, okay? And uh, what that indicates is how many I've dropped into the top, into the, into the main hold tray. And every time I do another group, the number goes up, okay? Now, the next step in the process is that I'm going to do progressive insights. That means it takes all the ones that I put in, 115 that are high or low, that are suspect, let's call them, okay? Uh, and I drop those in here and I have it sort. So it's going to identify which things are high, okay? So chemical, uh, nuts, uh, it, it sorts them all out, puts the ones uh, and high, and then I mark those manually, okay? And then I'm going to balance those. Now, if you notice, uh, let's see, I guess I didn't get the time on this when I, oh, it's, it's out of the, the range of, perhaps, of the video, but uh, this was 6.54 that I did this. I ran it until uh, 10.30, I took a nap. Um, and this is where the uh, energies came up to, okay? So uh, energies that are really low uh, indicate that the energy hasn't balanced very well. You balanced real well on all of the numbers. Um, 80 is a really high number. Ran your uh, aura again. Uh, then I took the self-hygiene uh, tones, uh, repairing your DNA. Uh, took the nosiers that were out. I put those into the quick zap. Ran those for about 15 minutes, um, and then I ran your or again, and you can see the colors came very nice again. So this is what I did for balancing you. Now, the next part is kind of diagnostic, okay? Uh, synergetics, your body indicates that getting the root 
uh, canal tooth out is uh, certainly really high in all of them, except your mind is a little not quite convinced. So you may want to do a little more study on root canals. Watch a number of videos on how root canals should be removed. And um, we can uh, satisfy that uh, because there's never a time when a root canal should be in a human being. Um, it's just not safe and they're toxic. Some people can manage them, but it takes so much energy out that they end up sick from something. Okay? Um, if you have believe it's Netflix, uh, search for uh, canal, uh, root canal, is a video um, that's real good, uh, it talks about one fellow's experience with, with uh, root canal. Uh, now I did a biopsy risk, um, it's high but not as high as I expected, not as balanced as I expected. So I uh, did prostate biopsy and this tells me a comparison. Okay. So uh, certainly your body is indicating that there's something going on. Okay. Um, so I hope this uh, video helps you to understand um, I also checked to see if uh, a prostate massage unit called a Mavit is appropriate for you. Um, I would highly recommend it. Um, it will help to um, soften up your prostate, get it flowing, which is what it's supposed to do. Um, uh, it's a pulse magnetic therapy device and heat device. Uh, it works like an electronic Suppository. Uh, I will send you the instructions so that you can read them and see if they resonate with you. Um, I, uh, maybe 20 plus years ago, I gave one um, of the earlier versions to my dad because he was having trouble having to get up to pee a couple times a night and uh, it resolved that. He loved it. He used it for um, 20 years. Um, you, want, you follow the instructions and then you use it occasionally um, after you get through the first six months. It's something you, you do pretty regularly in the beginning and then you just do it as a kind of a touch-up. It keeps the flowing going. Um, also, I didn't mention it before, but since you have the low-grade infection, I would highly recommend that you use a condom uh, until you're free of bacteria that you may be injecting into your life. Okay, so um, this is Dale Maxwell and